this close. I know they're not even like that similar. I just really wanted to make the joke. I've had this set for a couple days, actually a couple days before I ever even watched the official video for it, and in my mind, this is like the perfect set, right? And so before I had ever been exposed to other people's opinions about it, my personal bias told me that everybody was going to love it. Imagine my surprise when that's not true, the reactions are actually a bit more mixed and mild than, you know, the universal acclaim that I believed the set deserved. I was naive. But I also, I also got curious as to why it was so mixed, and uh, it's improved a little bit, but I think, in my opinion, that the GGG video failed this set. Now, the official videos being subpar from a buyer's perspective is not a new concept. This entire channel was founded on that idea, the idea that GGG didn't provide enough information for us to make good purchasing decisions, sound purchases. But for a while, their videos have been pretty decent, props for that. But the Frost Viking video, what happened? They used dark areas, heavy post-processing, and local point lighting, with the end result being a video showcase that's messy, and it's dull. And I'm sorry if this comes off as harshly critical, but this is a product video. It's not high art. You don't need to obscure the set you're trying to sell in six layers of effects, light, and smoke to make it look cool. Let us actually see the work the 3D team did. It's good. The set's really, really good. Look at the mixture of materials and textures, the use of physics and the small details, like the horn on the back. Look at the fur. Look at this comparison of the bear set from like 20 whatever. We've come so far. Now I'm compelled to compare it to past ice sets that we've gotten to gauge its quality and its usability, and the good news is, it looks better than ever. The bad news is, none of the ice sets really work all that well together. Case in point, take a look at like the Arctic Cloak, the Arctic Wings. And it's hilarious to think about too, because each Arctic set that we've gotten has like a different color, has different tone, has different textures, like none of it meshes well. But when like, you know, compared to fire, like there's 15 fire sets and all of them have like the same effects and the same colors and they just, they work. And it's, it's kind of frustrating, really. Which is really sad too, because I was excited for Arctic Crystal to finally get some cool combos, but as it turns out, they're only just, you know, sort of okay. The cloak is all right. And the horn ends up being comically oversized, which I don't, you know, it's, it's all right, but I, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea, you know? You know what does work well here though? Stygian. And by extension to its sister set Revenant, they're both decently all right. Um, they both share that like really saturated blue that ties the various pieces of the sets together. I do prefer Stygian just a little bit because I think it's better just in general, but either one is going to work really well. And using that saturated blue as a combo piece is going to extend to other pieces that also share that same color, such as the Azerite back attachment. Very nice here. Also something like the Harvest Cloak is all right but not the harvest wings though i don't know why i just i don't like this i think it ends up looking just a little bit too smooth maybe a little bit too green um but if you like it hey it works i don't though not the harvest wings harvest cloak use the harvest cloak if you have it as for pieces that lean into the more neutral color palette i recommend the delirium cloak this just looks good with the helmet and the metal in general However, if the Delirium Cloak isn't something you have available, if you didn't do those challenges and you just want something that's like in the store that you can get, Dreadspire works well with everything. Not not everything, but in general most things, and these days it keeps getting more and more combos and is just steadily making its way up my list of like the things that are most useful, like the most effective combo pieces to have. However, if you're absolutely flush and you don't care about price, another cool one that you could go for is the Wild Gold stuff. I like how this looks. Price is a little bit prohibitive though. It is a combined set. Now as to the set's own versatility, the helmet in particular I feel like deserves a shout out just because of how well it slots into like dozens of other setups. Just to give you an idea here of like the things you can expect it to work with, stuff like the black body armor looks really really uh, good. Cult of Apocalypse looks fine. Uh, not that. Elder. Let's see what else here. Glimmerwood. Griffin. Here you go. It's not bad. Judicator. Also not bad. Madcap. Mage Guard. I really like this one actually. Looks really good. Uh, I think I looked at this, decided on nope, the blue sticks out too much. Wouldn't do that. 
Revenant, again, with the Revenant combos, super tasty. Sentinel Overlord, this one's really good. Really, really good, actually. Incredible. Yo, actually, I want to see that with the weapon. Sentinel Overlord has like a really, like a really good weapon. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's sweet. I like that. Stygian, just for good measure. And then, of course, Wrangler. That's a fun one. So yeah, just an idea of like how versatile the helm is. It's pretty good. That's my thoughts on the armor. The weapon is kind of interesting. It doesn't really share the same colors as the armor does. You know, the whole ICM, ICM MTX curse that we talked about. But it does have a good built-in weapon effect. That like, yeah, attack. That like blue trailing. Which is nice if you want to create some kind of like duo effect that you can't really buy on the store. Say like combining it with a contrasting effect to create like a two-tone. Which is pretty decent. But other than that, I kind of I kind of think of the weapon as like, you know, a mid-tier weapon. The ice kind of like obscures the blade. It doesn't really have that many forms when you compare it to something like Elder or Rapture that has like seven or eight forms each. So you're not really getting as much value out of it as you would be getting out of it like other weapons. And as for like an actual cool like full ensemble, like whole whole deal. Um, I've been using this on my character in uh, Ritual recently. It's like a cast on Great Cyclone character. Uh, that does things. You'll, you'll see it's super cool. But anyway, uses like Atlas and Misery and Fulcrum and like the Misery Aura and, you know, of course, Frost, Frost Viking. And it's, it just, it comes together nicely. Um, really, really nicely. I use like, uh, some Golden Heralds. Uses Purifying Flame. It's a fun time. It's a great look. I love this. I, uh, don't care about the portal. And then there's the Aura. Aura kind of reminds me of Monolith. It has physics, doesn't obscure your character. It isn't huge. It's a great aura, what can I say? In conclusion, um, set good, presentation bad. If you don't like it, that's fine. If you do, sweet. That's like the whole, that's like the whole review. Um, some quick news for the Before You Buy series. We've skipped a few sets this league. If you uh, haven't noticed, great. If you have, um, I thought I'd give you guys an update for my plans for the next few weeks. Ethercraft. I currently have no plans to ever buy, feature, review, or promote the set. Ever. Period. Um, Rapture. We'll review this at some point when the theme is complete. It's not complete currently. I don't mind waiting. I don't think you guys mind waiting either. It's kind of just like, you know, a red set. Box sets. Um, holy shit, these are cool. Honestly, the only reason why I haven't done a box video yet is because I've been busy melting my GPU with another project for the talent competition. There wasn't a box opening video because the box opening was very, very painful. Um, proof of that, by the way. Oh, and old sets. We've skipped a whole bunch of sets in the last year, namely Darkwood, Water Ele Elemental, off the top of my head. We're going to start going through my backlog of sets. I have a whole bunch of them that I want to make videos for, and I haven't really had the chance to do that. And uh, coming up in the near future, I'm going to have a little bit more free time, hopefully. I need more free time. So I'm going to try and do like one a week. And uh, just comment what, which old set you want to see, and uh, I'll go through them in no particular order, and uh, we'll get them done. It'll be fun. Bye.